Hi everyone, welcome back to another of our Tech Tuesday videos. This is Caleb here. Um, we're going to continue the trend that we've been starting uh, the last few weeks with focusing on our G Suite for the beginning Tech Tuesday videos of this school year. Um, we've done uh, a general overview of the G Suite, but today I wanted to uh, dial it in a little bit on one specific product. Uh, we're going to be focusing on Google Docs today. So Google Docs is Google Spreadsheet. Uh, excuse me, not spreadsheet. Their word processing uh, app, similar to Microsoft Word, or if you're familiar with uh, Apple, it's similar to um, Pages. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it today. So there's a couple of ways you can get to Google Docs, and I'm going to show you the the first way, the way that you're probably going to go to it the most. Um, it's going to be through the Google Drive. So you open Google Drive, and this uh, is the section that has all of your Google files. You can see here I'm using a uh, pretty sparse account, so I don't have anything in my <clears throat> Google Drive. But if I hit this new button right here in the uh, left-hand side, it gives me the options uh, to put a lot of new um, things into my Google Drive and one of them is Google Docs. So I can press Google Docs and what it'll do is it'll open a blank Google document that'll allow me to start filling in. Um, this is what I use for the most part because I'm just opening up blank documents. I don't really need anything else. I don't need any templates usually. So this is the way I go. But if I do need a template, I go a different direction with it. So to get to um, basically the home page for, for Google Docs, um, again, click on the uh, the square made of circles, this is Google Apps, we're going to click on it, we're going to find Docs, click on that, and it'll open to the Google Docs homepage. And from here, we can browse the template gallery if we want a specific template. So I just click on the template gallery, and I'm here on the general tab, and I've got different types of essays, a report, uh, different reports, um, more and more reports, class notes. This is pretty cool if you want to direct your students here. It helps them uh, organize notes from class, different types of notes. Uh, more notes, uh, lesson plans, um, more lesson plan, different types. Um, letters, resumes, which are always pretty cool, especially if you get uh, high school kids starting to work on putting together resumes. Uh, recipes, um, project proposals, brochures. Then we have add-ons. Um, business related add-ons, um, proposals, software agreements. Um, these are add-ons that you can, you can add to your thing. Some of them cost money and some of them are free. Um, but let's go back um, and let's say you want to do a lesson plan. I know we do lesson plans inside of Edgeforia, but maybe you wanted to kind of plan out inside of a document um, what your lesson plan is going to look like before you put it into Edgeforia. Well, if you chose the lesson plan template, now you have a template of how you want to do your lessons. You can see here I've got uh, a lesson plan set up and it even has an outline off to the side. So name of my lesson, summary, implementation, the context procedures, differentiated instruction, excuse me, uh, materials, resources, all that stuff. Um, as you can see it, it's a word processing document. Um, it looks very similar to Microsoft Word in some aspects. We have a file, edit, view, insert, all those. Um, just giving you a quick overview of this. Don't want to get you bogged down in, in a real detailed video of how to use this. If you're if you're familiar with a word processing document, you can find your way through here. Um, the file uh, on the file section, we can share it. New documents, we can open uh, different documents, make copies, download it to our actual computer if we want word files. Email is an attachment. You notice there's no save button. That's because in Google Docs it saves automatically for you into your Google Drive. Um, make an available offline version history, lots of different options here. In our edit section, we have the undo and redo, cut, copy, paste, select all, find and replace, uh, view, we can do different view modes, insert, we can insert images, tables, drawings, charts, lines, footnotes, special characters, um, line breaks, links, uh, that are hyperlinks, insert comments, uh, table of contents, things like that. Format, we can change our text format, paragraph styles, all the way to making columns and bullets, numbers, and you know, clearing our formatting. Tools, we have the, the spelling and grammar check, word counts, voice typing, which is really neat, um, allows you to actually um, 
a due dictation, due dictation. Uh, translate a document uses Google Translate to translate a document for you, so it's probably not going to be 100% accurate, but it is a good start. Um, accessibility settings, we have those. There are add-ons. I don't have any add-ons here, but uh, in a previous video, I talked about Google add-ons. Um, help if you need help and training um, to use Google Docs. Um, and then the, the bar below it, we have the undo and redo, send it to the printer, uh, spelling and grammar check, paint format, font size, font uh, font styles, font type. Uh, excuse me, not this is not font size. Uh, this is the zoom. Font size is over here. Uh, bold, italic, underline, uh, the color of our lines. We can do a highlight color if we want. We can insert another link, insert comments, pictures, uh, different alignments, the spacing of our lines, numbered lists, bullets, uh, indents, and also clearing our format if we want to clear the formatting entirely. Um, there's a whole lot more that can be done inside of Google Docs, but I did want to give you just a brief overview of what it is, how it's similar to Microsoft Word, where it differentiates, um, and then some of the things that I think that are pretty cool about it that you can do with it, especially when you start using it for yourself or letting your kids uh, use it in the classroom. But that's going to be it for today's Tech Tuesday video. If you have questions, comments, concerns, suggestions for other videos, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself. Uh, always glad to hear what you guys want, and it makes it a lot easier to make videos for you when I have ideas of what you guys would like to hear. Uh, that being said, I hope you have a great rest of whatever day it is when you watch this video, and thank you very much.